Have you ever envisioned a location with extraordinary political debates that shape the fate of the entire globe, accompanied by immense riches and an extensive elite indulging in every earthly delight? Well, Kim Jong-un does not need to imagine such a place. There is a secret and exclusive venue in Pyongyang, North Korea's capital, known as The Master, where Kim Jong-un hosts yearly social events. The venue is located deep beneath the streets and is accessible only to a few selected guests. The facilities are luxurious and grand, with a grand ballroom decorated with sparkling chandeliers, plush carpets, and lavish furnishings. The venue also has a secret casino that offers various gambling games, including blackjack, roulette, poker, and slot machines. The casino is primarily designed for foreign visitors like business tourists and diplomats, as North Korean residents' access may be restricted. Besides gambling, the establishment offers other entertainment options, such as restaurants and bars, providing a comprehensive experience for its exclusive guest list. The topic of the existence of a pleasure squad in North Korea has been shrouded in secrecy, leading to much speculation and intrigue among citizens and foreign observers. These alleged groups, if they do exist, are rumored to cater to North Korea's elite, including high-ranking officials and influential figures who attend exclusive events such as Kim Jong-un's secret parties. However, due to the North Korean government's tight control over information and lack of access to reliable sources, there is a scarcity of concrete evidence regarding the existence of pleasure squads. It is challenging to confirm or refute their presence. It is worth noting that pleasure squads have historical precedents in North Korea, with reports of similar groups existing during the rule of previous leaders. These groups were purportedly composed of young women who were trained to entertain and provide companionship to high-ranking officials and leaders. Whether or not pleasure squads are present at Kim Jong-un's secret parties remains a topic of speculation and rumor, adding to the mysterious allure of these exclusive gatherings. The secrecy surrounding North Korea's inner circle and elite events contributes to the fascination and curiosity surrounding the regime's clandestine activities. Extravagant and opulent gatherings are held within the confines of Kim Jong-un's official residence in Pyongyang. These exclusive events are reserved for a privileged few, with only 40 individuals out of Kim's 200 associates being granted attendance. Lasting until the early hours of the morning, these parties are fueled by alcohol, sexual indulgence, and lavish cuisine. The routine at these gatherings is a twisted fusion of luxury and debauchery. Eating, drinking, and dancing are customary, yet the atmosphere often takes a darker turn. Erotic games, including stripping losers of their clothing irrespective of gender, are a favored pastime. The ambience is one of coercion and humiliation, with participants pushed to their limits in pursuit of pleasure. One particularly disturbing game involves the shaving of body hair. Heavily intoxicated participants engage in a hair shaving ritual, where men have portions of their head hair shaved off and women undergo pubic hair removal. These activities serve as mechanisms of control and dominance, reinforcing power dynamics within the party. Dedicated parties, solely focused on sexual activities, occur when the leader is in a particularly good mood. These gatherings epitomize the depths of depravity and disregard for human dignity within North Korea's innermost elite circles. The girls of the Pleasure Squad endure these events for years, their lives consumed by the demands of their leaders. Trapped in a cycle of exploitation and abuse, they bear physical and psychological scars from their experiences. Upon retirement from their roles in the Pleasure Squad, typically between the ages of 22 and 25, these girls' futures remain uncertain. Reports suggest they are often married off to elite guards seeking brides, yet they are closely monitored to ensure their silence and prevent exposure of the Pleasure Squad's secrets. 
These parties themselves are extravagant and decadent, characterized by alcohol, sex, and demeaning games, emblematic of the years of servitude endured by the girls of the pleasure squad. Kim Jong-un, a figure whose very essence emanates opulence and grandeur, came into focus as the world mourned the passing of his father, Kim Jong-il, in December 2011. Despite his youthful and charismatic demeanor, Kim Jong-un, with his cherubic countenance and an aura of innocence, appeared an unlikely wielder of power. Yet beneath this facade lay a man resolute in asserting his dominance, carrying forward the legacy of oppression established by his predecessors. Born on January 8, 1982, amidst the gleaming skyscrapers of Pyongyang, Kim Jong-un emerged as the third scion of the illustrious Kim dynasty, grandson of the revered Kim Il-sung, the founding father of North Korea. From his earliest days, it was evident that Kim Jong-un was destined for a life of extravagance and authority. Meticulously groomed to inherit the mantle of leadership, Kim Jong-un's formative years were shaped by an education steeped in luxury and refinement. Under the guise of a false identity, he was whisked away to the salubrious environs of Switzerland, where he mastered the languages of the elite, English, German, and French. This sojourn in the lap of luxury afforded him a cosmopolitan perspective, an invaluable asset for a future ruler. Upon his return to the secretive confines of North Korea, Kim Jong-un embarked on a journey of erudition, enrolling in esteemed institutions that would mold his worldview and fortify his grip on power. At Kim Il-sung University, he delved deep into the annals of political ideology while concurrently honing his military prowess at Kim Il Military University, a testament to his multifaceted ambitions. From the outset of his reign, Kim Jong-un spared no extravagance in securing his dominion. Ascending to the pinnacle of power at the tender age of 29, he assumed the mantle of supreme leader, shouldering the burden of a nation veiled in mystery and seclusion. In the ensuing years of his rule, Kim Jong-un undertook the Herculean task of cementing his authority swiftly consolidating power within the labyrinthine corridors of North Korean politics. Anointed as the General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, the President of State Affairs, and the Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army, he wielded unbridled authority over every facet of governance and military. Kim Jong-un's ascent was not without its trials and tribulations and enduring scrutiny. Having consolidated his authority, Kim Jong-un embarked on a voyage of nuclear proliferation, a brazen display of power that reverberated across the global stage. His clandestine government's affairs, shrouded in secrecy and opulence, became the stuff of legend, leaving the international community aghast at the audacity of his excesses. Amidst diplomatic overtures and nuclear brinkmanship, Kim Jong-un's North Korea underwent a facelift as economic reforms heralded a new era of prosperity. His fervent embrace of consumerism transformed Pyongyang into a veritable oasis of luxury and abundance. To fuel his grandiose ambitions, Kim Jong-un embarked on ambitious construction projects, epitomizing his vision of a modern and affluent society. Towering apartment complexes, state-of-the-art hospitals, and lavish recreational facilities sprouted across the urban sprawl, a testament to his unwavering commitment to opulence. Yet, despite the ostentatious displays of wealth, challenges persisted. North Korea grappled with perennial issues of food, scarcity, and agricultural inefficiencies, casting a shadow over Kim Jong-un's grand designs. Concerns lingered over North Korea's human rights record, casting a pall over his glittering reign. Allegations of political repression and curtailment of freedoms garnered international condemnation, threatening to tarnish his carefully crafted image. Nevertheless, Kim Jong-un's overtures toward diplomacy hinted at a desire for international acceptance. 
High-profile summits with global leaders underscored his aspirations for normalization, even as the specter of nuclear proliferation loomed large. The secret parties and pleasure squad of Kim Jong-un serve as phenomena reflecting the complex nature of power and culture in North Korea. These events portray the extravagant lifestyle of the dictator, who seeks to bolster his political influence and authority through the organization of lavish and covert gatherings. The clandestine parties not only showcase the wealth and luxury within elite circles, but also serve as a means of control and maintenance of loyalty. What are your thoughts on the Kim Jong-un political leadership in North Korea? Share that in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the notification bell to stay updated with the latest in the luxury world, only here at Luxury Mindset. See you in the next video.